Whoa! <laughs> I promise it's supposed to do that. Oh my god. Oh. See? Smoky oven? Well, I didn't, you know, I've never set the fire alarm off ever. So, there you go, it's the first for everything. Ooh. That's really good. The crispiest, crunchiest, juiciest pork belly. Now that's what I'm talking about, my friends. Listen to that sound. Oh, music to my ears. We're gonna be using my foolproof crispy pork belly recipe, testing it out in two ways. Okay guys, welcome to the very first episode of Marion's Test Kitchen. Uh, what are we doing here? We're gonna be taking like cool techniques, methods, products, gadgets, and testing them out so you don't have to. <laughs> um, we're gonna be doing today like one of the big ones. Like this is, this is like big guns for me. And for you guys, you love this particular uh, protein on my channels. Yes, that's right, we are doing pork belly. And what we're gonna be doing is figuring out the best method for doing it. Do you need to do it in an oven, funnily enough? And that brings me to my next point, and we have partnered with Anasonic for this very special episode of Marion's Test Kitchen. And we're gonna be putting their three-in-one convection microwave oven to the test. Can you make a crispy, crackling, juicy pork belly in a microwave oven just as well as you can in a regular oven? So I'm not much of a microwave user, aside from heating up a whole lot of baby food um, in the past year, but Panasonic has actually been voted Australia's number one microwave brand for two years running now. So uh, I'm really interested to see if uh, this microwave oven can do everything it's supposed to do. Uh, and I'm really interested to see whether you can cook a crispy pork crackling pork belly in a microwave. I wanna get started first of all on the pork belly because guys, to be honest, whether you're doing it in a microwave or an oven or in a air fryer or on a campfire, the preparation is key. Uh, first of all, let's have a look at this pork belly. Pork belly 101. Okay, so not all pieces of pork belly are created equal. You wanna choose a piece that has a really lovely amount of both fat and meat. And make sure this layer of fat just under the skin isn't too thick because if that doesn't have time to render out completely, you're just gonna get a whole bunch of like fatty, chewy stuff happening in your mouth. You don't want that. And see that pork skin right there? That contains a whole lot of collagen, which is like chewy and tough. And we're gonna slowly cook that guy until it forms gelatin, which is soft and tender. Take your piece of pork belly. And you can do, I mean, there's like loads of different ways that you can tackle this, right? So um, the traditional Chinese method is to use this guy. <laughs> kind of a bit scary, but it's basically just like, you know, little uh, skewers here. And that's just gonna, if you just like get in here and give this a really good kind of just pound kind of thing here, you get these tiny little holes all over your pork skin. If you don't have one of these, you could use a metal skewer. Um, I have done this before. Uh, there's a video of mine where I did this with toothpicks. So you can do it with wooden skewers as well. This just makes it a lot easier. But sometimes it looks a bit like this. So you've got like these kind of random bits of scoring, you know, and it kind of tricks you into thinking, oh yeah, my pork belly scored, done. I can just get going, no. <laughs> that kind of random, like lazy ass kind of scoring is not gonna help you out here, guys. Okay, so you wanna get in here and score so that you're getting into the skin and the fat, but you're not getting into the meat. Now, once you've done one diagonal cross, we're gonna go back the other way in a cross hatch kind of pattern. And we're gonna do the same thing to two pieces of pork belly here. So we've got exactly the same preparation for two pieces of pork belly. One's gonna go in the oven, traditional way, and one going to go into our microwave oven. The other thing that's really important now is that we need to salt and we need to dry. So the salting part's going to come first. So what you want here is a whole lot of salt. And you need to really rub that in. Get it into the fridge, leave it uncovered so that there's a lot of air circulating around the pork skin, um, which is also helping to dry it out, get that salt working to remove a lot of that moisture. So here we go, in the fridge. All right, so because I don't want you guys to like watch paint dry on a video, 
or watch my fridge overnight. I actually did this yesterday. I did the same thing, the same scoring, the same salting. The next thing is getting that skin super dry. I know I keep harping on about the dry, but it's really important that we get that skin super dry. So I'm gonna get some paper towel. Now I'm gonna do an extra step here, which I haven't done on my pork belly um, recipes before, which I haven't tried out. And that is, I'm gonna get out the hairdryer. <laughs> And like, I read this on a blog. Uh, I've read it on a few blogs, actually. Um, I haven't tried it at home, but it makes perfect sense to me because um, you're kind of getting that hot air and the heat and it should be, you know, well, I mean, it dries your hair. So why not dry some pork skin? So <laughs> I'm just gonna give that a really good go here and just pretend like I'm at this, you know, the hair salon. All right, I like this. I like this, guys. So like this skin, I don't think I've ever gotten my skin this dry before making pork belly like that's cool yeah I'm, I'm happy with that go hair dryer <laughs> okay guys so now we're at the next very crucial part of getting the crispy crackling on our pork belly and that is the low and slow roasting that's the roasting that's going to turn the the collagen in the skin into the gelatin which then will give us the crispy skin um, so what we need to do is get our ovens preheating I want my traditional oven at 150 okay so now I want to get my microwave oven heating up instead of just doing microwave and reheating like you would in a normal microwave it also does grilling baking and roasting so I mean I've never roasted in this microwave before so I'm really interested to see how it goes I like that there are not too many buttons here. I hate when I have to get the manual out and go, what does all this stuff do? Um, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna, I think just to preheat, I just need to choose that convection mode and then like that's the temperature I want, 150 start. And we're good, okay, easy. All right, so ovens are going, you can probably hear them. And I'm gonna get these pork belly pieces out onto a little setup here that I have, which I think optimizes the best amount of like airflow around your pork belly. So I've got some wire racks here sitting on some baking trays. Um, this one actually came with the microwave and the tray as well, so I'm gonna use that. And let's get these guys cooking. and both of our pork bellies are gonna get 90 minutes. Okay guys, so if you were here right now, you would be smelling what I'm smelling and I'm smelling some amazing porky goodness. Let's get this stuff out of the oven. Um, ooh, that looks nice. Okay, oven, oven guy looking pretty good. So what I'm aiming for here is for this to be nice and soft. This top part still not ready for its like Instagram showcase just yet, but that's okay. All right, let's get this guy out. Ooh, oh, hey, hey there. <laughs> that looks really good. Okay, over to here. This is the first time I have used this microwave oven to do this. And I gotta say like, look at these results. This is, so I think the one thing that I find with ovens is you get kind of like this hot spot thing going on. You can see that some parts of this are a little browner than the others. I gotta say, this one is looking a lot more even in color. Um, that's pretty cool. Right, I need to turn that oven up really high. Ah, okay, sorry. It is very user-friendly, you just gotta keep pushing. Okay, um, all right, so 240, that's great. Pop my pork back in. Okay. All right, oven guy. Okay, my clothes at 240, so that needs to go up to 240. 240, 240. We're good. <laughs> now, okay, so I'm thinking around about 30 minutes um, for that skin to puff up, but um, let's wait and see, shall we? Um, all right, let's get this out. Let's have a look. <laughs> I mean, really, you don't really want to see that much smoke when you're you know, cooking, but it's, it's fine, it's fine. I think, let me, let's, let's have a look, let's have a look. Ah, uh, yeah. 
See that bubbling on the top? That's that like fat I was talking about coming through and cooking that pork skin. I mean, that is pretty insane. Pretty happy with that. Oh my God, there is a fire alarm. <laughs> um, okay, we should open the windows. <laughs> What do we do in this instance? Uh, we're at the fire alarm. It's going to teach up the flame. Oh. See? Smoky oven? Yeah. <laughs> I'm blaming you, Dax. I'm going to blame I'm blaming you. Yeah. You took too long with the light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't, you know, I've never set the fire alarm off ever. So, there you go. It's the first for everything. <laughs> This is looking really good, despite the uh, the dramatics um, and the smoke. I think that's just some of the, it's just some of that pork fat burning kind of on the bottom of the tray. Maybe if you uh, have really sensitive fire alarms, you should tone it down a little bit. But I mean, the thing that's going on here is is like that. I mean, that's amazing. Right, let's have a look in our microwave. Just an extra like five, 10 minutes. Maybe it's been five minutes. I really should have had a look, but there was just too much going on. <laughs> I think it's been an extra 10 minutes. Um, let's have a look. Ah, oh, yes, look at that. And <laughs> very little smoke, <laughs> which is a plus. <laughs> All right, like, you know, I am, I am pretty thrilled with both of those. Have a look, check out this crackling. I mean, the same test, right? That is crispy all over. That little ding, 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 ding. Let's get in here and have a look, shall we? I mean, just looking at them, I, there's no complaints with either. I gotta say, if you can make this kind of crispy crackling in a microwave oven, you've got to be supremely happy. You know, good and bad, quick, I mean, 10 minutes, not much in that, but I am really excited about getting in here. All right, let's start slicing into this. All right, let's go. I'm so excited. <laughs> I get really excited about pork belly. <laughs> okay. Holy smokes, look at that, look at that. Ah, oh, that's so good. So this is what I was talking about, right? Like you gotta get like, you gotta get that crispy, but it's gotta be crunchy and not chewy crispy. And then have a look all the way through there. We've got soft meat here, but not like so soft that it's just kind of disintegrating. So, do we get the same sound, the same crunch, the same excitement? Oh yeah. Whoa, geez, that's good. Like, look at that. It's amazing. That is the same, the exact same kind of crispy, crispy crunch thing. That little that, dee, 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 that, that, that noise it tells you it's crispy, but it's tender and crunchy. Nice, nice. You know, I gotta say already, I can see that the microwave oven version is a little softer. The meat's a little softer. Okay, the taste test. We go in here with the microwave oven version. Mm -hmm. I mean, that crunch. Yeah, you can hear the crunch, right? That's amazing. I think that's really cool. I think it's cool that you can achieve that kind of crunch and that texture in a microwave oven. Um, let's see how it compares to the oven. Crunch goes forever, it's so good. If you did this blind, you would have no idea which is which. Um, they both have the same amount of phenomenal crunch. The crunch is 
really tender, if you know what I mean. It's not like a chewy, hard crunch, and that all comes down to preparation. So obviously, prepare, prepare, prepare. Um, but both have done an amazing job. I've really loved to test out new things. So like, you know, I was, I'm pretty pumped that I was able to cook like a crispy, crackling pork belly, a juicy pork belly <laughs> in a microwave oven. I mean, that's crazy. It's totally changed my perception of what I thought microwave ovens could do or should be used for. I mean, I reckon that's pretty cool. Okay, sauce, chili oil. Mm. For me, you just can't go past this pork belly. It's just insanely good. It's so good. That's it. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode of Marion's Test Kitchen. I have more Test Kitchen episodes coming and more recipes coming too. So if you would like to know when there is more deliciousness on my channel, please hit subscribe and don't forget the little bell button so you get notified every time. Thanks guys. Bye.